like to show you how to connect to my existing running image on my uh, target platform using the evaluation board and create a new application on it. Right now, I'd like to create a MFC application. I, I like to go and build on x86 platform, perhaps. I'll call it, for example, Grid from Apex. And click OK. And basically, I like to go through a dialogue-based application. I am also hitting two birds with one stone going through this demonstration. Not only I show you embedded Visual C++, but also I show you how to connect to my existing image. Uh, just basically, I go through this process by clicking and finishing up this specific section. I like to go modify my resource files a little bit. Uh, I am going to expand the dialogue section of this specific resource file. And let me go back here for a second on the resource file in here. I have a small little glitch in the previous uh, demonstration. Now, I have redone this. As you see, part of test three is basically another dialogue-based application. I've added a button in here, and I'm just greeting from Apex. I just say hi from Apex, and that would be the test sample. The catch here is go through the tools and select Configure Platform Manager. As you see, I have already installed the test SDK. Without having test SDK, I couldn't have connected to my platform. So basically, we have already talked about how to configure the SDK, how to build it up, how to install it. And now, all I have to do, as you see, I have used Kettle in order to communicate between my embedded visual tool kit with my target platform. Since my image is running using the Kettle services, I'm actually connecting to my own device and make sure that they can establish. And as you see, connection device established. So... Since I can communicate with my device, all I have to do now, I have to go and execute my test, automatically tries to connect to my target device, and as soon as it's over, you can see that my application is running on my target image. And now it goes and executes my application, and as a matter of fact, on my target device, it actually works, and you can see that test 3, it, it does work. If I go back to my platform, I can actually go back to CE processes and prove it that the test 3 is actually working properly. Now, if I try to terminate this process, basically I'm terminating the process, refreshing the screen, and that process automatically, it gets killed anyways. However, the reason that you do not see the process is over, just because this particular session is controlling it. That means, despite the fact the platform builder debugger says kill it, it actually sends, should send a notification to this particular embedded Visual C++ goes back, and after embedded Visual C++ kills it, you see that the test three is gone now. So it actually goes through three different steps in order to kill the process because you're launching it from another point of view. So the Kettle services should also notify two different IDEs. So in this demonstration, I showed you how to uh, create an application, connect to your existing image, and use the Platform Builder debugger, test the application environment.